hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video if you're new here my name is Mohammed, and uh, we are doing a training or preparation for elastic certified analyst exam uh, we have discussed so far all of these topics and today uh what was the yeah and today we will um, discuss or see how we can use the discover to save a search and add a document table to a uh, dashboard so we will see um, this this topic today right uh, with that being said let's jump to uh, our cabana so you are in the welcome page so we have to go to discover from here right or you can click on analytics from here and you will be able to find discover from here um we have nothing we have to increase uh the time range uh we go with last um seven days or so right and now we uh, uh what why what or why we need um, to use a saved search so a saved search is a way let's say here you have your data right it's coming here but sometimes you are interested in some specific data not all so for example here in e-commerce you want to see for example we saw we saw the uh, for example product category uh, manufacturer for example price and and we can also look for gender so here sometimes <coughs> sometimes you have a specific uh, filter and you have specific table or you want to see a specific result not everything so you start with with your filter right so you create the first filter like this and the second let's say second filter like this and the third filter like this i'm just i'm just i'm just choosing random filters right but for sure uh, in your use case or in during the exam they will ask you to create a specific filter so for instance let's imagine i'm asking you to create a filter based on the gender where the gender is male and uh, the category should be these two categories uh, men's clothing and the accessories and also from this uh, um, from this manufacturer and from this manufacturer for example so now um, you wanna you wanna save this search why because for sure to answer the scenario or to answer the question but why in production life we use it like uh, we save this search to use it in a dashboard or to do a comparison or to share it with other colleague or to do uh, your analyst and so on and so forth so to do the save it's easy you find you have your save uh, you save here so you give it you give it a name topic 2.6 for example the says save it search for topic 2.6 is just an example and add your uh, tag to be able to find it later and we have an option here do you want to store this save it search with the current um uh, with the current uh, time range or you um you use it with the, with the up updated time range or uh, other time range so for for me like or for uh, uh, usually usually we disable this one to to have an updated result but if they ask you to give for this specific time range or this uh, from this time to this time and you have specified here so you have to enable um, this button from here to save the results based on the time uh, range that they uh, they they give or they specify boom you click save now let's go back to discover now i want to open the previous saved search i want to open or i want to share it in a dashboard or in 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 uh, or with with other colleague or whatever so where where can i find um where can i find this save it search easy you have this open and here you have your save it search if you if you remember the name you can just type the name here or uh if you want to filter based on the tag you have the tag here and so on and so forth so for us we have this one we click and there we go we have our save it search right so now i 
I create this table, right? I, I put this save it, uh, this category from here, manufacturer, price, and customer. So now I want to use this table. I want to use it in the. I want to use it. Uh, I want to use it in the dashboard. So we saw previously, or in the uh, in the previous uh, sessions or topics, we create our own dashboard. So uh, here I will go to my my dashboard. This is my dashboard, right? So now I want. Um, let's just make let's edit here. I just uh, fix the size here of this visualization. Now it's more clean like this, right? So now I want to uh, add or import that uh, save it search to this dashboard. How can I do that? easy so you have um, add here add from library and here you can search for the for the um, or click on the type even you type the name directly here 2.6 and you have your save it search and this is the uh, the type if you just move your mouse here they will tell you it's a save it search or if you click on save it search it will return back all the uh, save it search that we have right plus the tag or the tags so here we have our save it search and i want to add this save it search so i just click and here we go if i go this is my save it search no results because we are applying this uh, filter here so i will uh, i will remove uh, the uh, i will um, i will remove this filter and also remove this one because it's impacting the result of the of the table or result of our save it search so i will go here like this and here we go i have the result back so i will add or change the add more space and here we go you have your uh, you have your save it search it's like imported as table and and here you can open the log or open the file or open the document and you can see your uh, your document with that being said uh, i hope uh, you learned something feel free to leave a comment or do let me know if you have uh, more question and i will see you in the next topic